So here's one that threw me off. This fella has this Quantum 128M02. He put an overhead valve spark plug in it and the valve, <coughs> the spark plug valve hit the spark plug and then of course it wouldn't start. So I'm finally been gonna take a look at it. And I got it top dead center, we're using a straw in the cylinder head. Valves were closed based on the <coughs> valve cover being off. And I had severe leak down coming out the exhaust valve, figuring it's obviously damaged from being hit. <coughs> so I happened to have a valve in stock and I went to put it in and I was very carefully filing it off so I didn't get the clearance too high. And then I was marginal of the, the eight, nine, and, I lapped it and it seemed okay. So then I was putting the retainer on. Every time I put the retainer on, I'd spin it a couple times. <clears throat> the clearance was way, way too high. And I'm, I'm puzzled by this and I'm, I try the retainer clip a couple of times, it seems to be on, and then I start rotating. Now, <clears throat> I've got the old valve back in and put the retainer on because Figuring it had about three clearance on it. So there it is. It's top dead center. Both valves are closed. And the magnet's pretty well at the firing position. Because before I had been turning it, looking for intake stroke, you know, power, compression stroke, all that stuff. So here I'm going to turn, <coughs> turn the flywheel here and see what you think. Okay. The piston's going down and what we should think would be the power stroke. Okay, there's the exhaust valve open, but closing again. So what should be the exhaust stroke, to me, up comes the intake valve. Okay, now this should be the intake stroke, but there's no valve open at all. And then you come down, and the piston comes back up. Completely, your valves are shut for the whole way down all the way up. So, I don't think I'm doing this wrong. Normally, you look for, normally, what I do is I look for that intake valve to come open, but at that point, it should be piston should be going down, <laughs> not coming up. So, my thinking is since it ran before he did that, is that when he hit the valve he's done something to the camshaft timing and even though the piston the you know the valves are opening and closing i suspect it's either twisted or i don't know the gear off i don't know i really don't know but i guess the way is to pull it apart then i'll just think i'll look for another engine for him but anybody else got any thoughts on that but it seems to me that that piston and those valves are not just working the way they should